What's up everybody, Hades here with another video and in today's video straight off the Shadowlands beta I'm going to show you how to get the Sin Runner Blanche mount. This is an awesome looking mount and the best thing is it actually does not take much to get it. Just like the Alpaca mount in Oldham from Battle for Azeroth, this mount will take 6 days to acquire and you'll be using variety of items to feed it every day or to groom it etc. Best part is it's not scattered all over the map for the spawn, it's in one spot and it actually has a really good spawn timer which could still change but at the moment it's looking at about a 1-2 to two hour spawn timer. A big special thank you to the WoW Secret Discord for finding out this secret because this is an epic mount and I think Blizzard dropped the ball by putting it in the beta but their mistake is our, our gain so without further ado smash that subscribe button and I'll get into today's guide. I am Hades. So to begin, what we're going to do is go and collect everything in advance as it makes it a lot easier and everything's pretty scattered but it's actually quite easy to farm. You have to be level 55 before you can start picking up the, the quest items needed to get the mount. For the first day of items that need to be handed to Blanche, you need to get a handful of oats. Eight of them to be exact and you can find these oats in Westfall in the Eastern Kingdoms. The best spots I found was the Molson farm and Saldine's farm so I just went back and forth between there until I got eight handfuls of oats. The next item you're going to be needing for day two is a grooming brush. You get this in Darkhaven which is in Rivendreth by speaking to the NPC Snickersnee. Here is his location on the map and while you're there you can acquire one item of day four's uh, items that we need is one of two things you need to do but there is the empty water bucket and that's right in front of him this saves you going back and forth and i'll be explaining further in this video what the empty water bucket is for the day three item that we're going to need to get is the sturdy horseshoe which you can be found and looted by discarded horseshoes you find on the road south and east of dark haven you'll require four horseshoes for the day three quest turn in and this is where you find it. I found them relatively quick on these roads here and you'll see them on the side of the road as like a horseshoe glowing and it will say discarded horseshoe. For day four we're required to bring Blanche a bucket of clean water. This is quite simple. You go to Ardenweald or Bastion and jump into any swimming body of water. In your backpack you'll see the empty bucket and you'll right click and it will fill the bucket up with nice clean water. If you didn't pick up the empty bucket on day 2 while you were with Snickersnee, you can find Snickersnee in Darkhaven and in front of him by the carriage is the empty bucket of water. Just right click it and then go back to Ardenweald or Bastion and fill it up. The next item for day 5 that you'll be required to get for Blanche is the comfortable saddle blanket which can be acquired from Tartru, an NPC found at the night market in Rivendreth. It requires 30 meat. The meat changes every week but it's only three options it can change to and you can find these on the auction house or by NPCs around Shadowlands. Day 6 is very simple, the item required is just three Dread Hollow Apples which can be purchased from Mims and he is found in the hole in the wall in Revendreth. The easiest way to get there is take the fly path to the charred ramparts and just run up the path as you saw in the video just now and you'll purchase the apples he sells five but you only need three so you're gonna have two as a bonus now that we have acquired all the items here's a checklist to make sure you've got everything and now we can go to the spawn location of Blanche. Blanche spawns in one spot and the best way to get there is to take the flight path to the old gate and once you get there you're gonna jump down the side and in the little river down the cliff is where Blanche spawns Blanche has a spawn timer of one to two hours and can be quite tricky once Blanche spawns, it runs in a straight line, so you have to stop it dead in its tracks to be able to interact with it. So what you do if it hasn't spawned yet, stand exactly where I am now in the video, and when Blanche spawns, it'll literally stop dead in its tracks and you can interact with it and give it the quest item of the day. If Blanche spawns and no one is around to stop her dead in her tracks, she'll eventually despawn and you'll have to wait another one to two hours before she spawns again. But if you do interact with her, it takes 5 minutes for her to despawn, so this gives time for whether you're an alliance player or a horde player to interact with her and hand in the quest item of the day, which is pretty cool actually, because 5 minutes is enough time to get there and finish it off. In 6 days, you're going to have an awesome mount to add to your collection. 
don't panic. It's not six consecutive days. It can be just six days in general. That's how long it takes to do the quest. If you found this guide useful, please flick it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a video or a guide. And if you have any comments or questions at all regarding this mount and how to get it, flick it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. I look forward to seeing you all in the Shadowlands. Take care.